<sighs> if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Hi everybody, thank you very much for joining me on the Charleston Pinball Arcade channel here on YouTube. So today, I wanted to go over some information. I've got some notes here. It's always good to have notes, right? I've got some notes here that I want to go over concerning pinball and arcade scams. Now, I'm a big pinballer. I'm a little bit into arcades. So I'm going to come from the vantage point of all of the pinball scams that I am seeing out there on places like Facebook, Craigslist, and also uh, across the board online. So right off the bat, if you see prices that are just too low, you should be wary of it possibly being a scam. One of the best ways to filter those scams is to communicate with that seller on the phone. Go ahead and get that seller on the phone. Ask them for their phone number. Maybe do a FaceTime video. However you would like to do it, they should definitely be open to communicating with you. They should be able to show you that machine, walk around the machine, maybe send you a video of the machine playing. That is absolutely the top of the list to make sure that you're not getting scammed. I have some other suggestions, obviously, but that is going to weed out all of those scammers almost 100%. Next up, ask around in the forum. So if you've been in the hobby for a little while, maybe this is your first pinball machine that you're purchasing, or maybe you've been in the hobby for a while, ask around in the forum. Say, hey, does this look like a scam? Does anybody know this seller? Take the feedback from other people that are in the hobby. Another thing to watch out for are photos that seem way too produced, also photos that are going to be from another seller, most likely. So what I mean by the produce side of things is there's a lot of great sellers out there and they take really nice professional photos of their machines. Now, all of these scammers, a lot of times what they're doing is there's, they're copying and pasting those photos in their own listing. So watch out for photos that look really extravagant. Sellers that have multiple pins in multiple rooms. Uh, those should be sellers that you should be able to reach out to. They should have a physical location and going with the physical location again, say to that seller, hey, you know what? I'm in town. What's your address? I want to stop by. I've got cash in hand I can purchase today. That really also helps to weed out the fakes that are out there. So uh, there's several times where I have communicated with scammers and I'll say, hey, uh, I live in your city. I, I don't even know what city they're in, by the way. I live in your city. I want to stop by today. What's your address? They'll either not reply to me, they'll either block me, or they will go ahead and reply, message me for more info. Guys, that right there most likely is a scam, okay? Another great way to watch out for scammers is to go to the manufacturer's sites. Look for the dealer list for the manufacturers or even call up the manufacturer. Maybe send an email to the manufacturer, so I'll use the example of Stern Pinball. If you go onto Stern's website, you're going to see the list of dealers that are approved throughout the country. Another great way, right here, YouTube, guys, there are multiple very reputable sellers in the pinball world that are doing YouTube videos on a routine basis. And they're selling the machines for what the machines should be sold for. You're not going to find 50% off pricing. You're not going to find brand new Adams families for $29.99. You're not going to find the big Lebowski for $5,000. It's not happening. Well, I guess maybe if the machine was thrown off of a roof, right, Todd? Uh, so anyway, watch out for all of that stuff. It's really important that you take it the extra level. Don't just rely upon what you're seeing on a forum or maybe on some website that was just thrown together. Uh, Look for misspellings also. It seems to be another common thing for some reason. I'm seeing a lot of scammers where the words are, are just don't match. Uh, the, the spelling is an absolute mess. 
please watch out for that stuff. So as we look down the list here, also uh, one of the big things that I want to call out is getting in your car and actually going there. So I mentioned about going to the physical location, but if you do have a seller that is, I don't know, an hour away from you, two hours away from you, three, four, this is a huge investment here. You know, you're talking about a toy that is, I don't know, 3,000, 5,000. Now, if you're into the electromechanicals like I am, you know, maybe a few hundred dollars, but get in your car, press that gas, and go see the machine in person. You know, even if you make a day trip out of it, maybe take a family member, maybe take another friend, right? Uh, you know, make a day out of it and make two days out of it. Maybe stay over. You know, um, maybe you drive out, you check out the machine, you play it, and you're like, you know what, this really isn't for me. You know, maybe you don't have a vehicle that you can fit it in. Not a problem. At least you see that machine in person, and then you can work out shipping arrangements with the seller. Also, most reputable sellers are going to have a shipper that they already work with. So ask them, you know, hey, who do you work with? What is the cost for shipping? And unless it's a brand new machine, typically, guys, you are going to pay extra for shipping. It is what it is. Uh, the shipping logistic companies that are out there, uh, they're going to most likely charge five, seven hundred dollars for a machine, even if it only has to go a few states away. So please keep that in mind. You know, if you see an Adams family for five thousand dollars in free shipping and also a one year warranty, probably not legit. All right. So look at YouTube. Reach out to people on Facebook. Watch for those scams out there. What I'd love for you to do is go ahead and put some comments in the box here on my channel. Uh, let me know about the scams that you have seen. I love talking about these scams in the forums. Uh, you know, have you gotten scammed? You know, go ahead and share. Uh, you know, we've all gotten scammed in some way, uh, buying things through our life, and, and, and it's, we're even more vulnerable here in a hobby like this because these are big boy and big girls for the ladies that like pinball. These are big boy toys, uh, and we are tempted to have those toys. We want that toy. We want a great deal on that toy. We need that toy, right? So ultimately, we are now at a disadvantage, and these scammers come looking for people like us uh, that want that toy, and we want it at a great price. Uh, but stop for a moment, think it through, and use logic. Uh, also, another thing to throw out there is bank wiring. Uh, there are some hobbies where bank wires are common. You know, just for example, maybe you're working with a jeweler that's selling Rolex watches or some other high-end watches. Sometimes bank wires are used for those transactions. But in this hobby, in my opinion, everything should be done by credit card or PayPal or whatever uh, electronic payment can actually be tracked and it is secure and safe so if that if you don't get your item or something happens to it at least you have recourse to get refunded or obviously if it's going to be shipped check out the insurance policies on those shipping agents and the seller just in case that's another thing i'm gonna do another video on that in the next few days here i don't know what's going on with forklift operators and a lot of the shipping logistic guys out there but there are so many machines that are getting ruined during shipping uh it's been pretty rampant over the last few months in the forums just seeing pictures of machines with the fork right through the side of the box and guys, uh, just another opinion here, if you happen to take a receipt of a machine that has been damaged and the box has been damaged, just make sure you check with who you're purchasing it from beforehand. I would suggest that you refuse the shipment and then you can get into uh, getting that machine back or getting one that doesn't have a fork through it. So we'll get into that on in another video, but hey, I wanna thank you very much for your time today. Again, please put in the comments your experience with the scammers in the pinball and arcade community. I'm gonna have a few more videos where I wanna talk about some more topics, but I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you much and have a great day.